by this, uh, he used to call it a satellite voice transmitter, but these days it's uh, known as remote neural monitoring. Um, well, wherever I go, I, I have this, um, I, let's call it a broadcast signal that, that uh, is with me. If I go to a, a bus, uh, on, sit on a bus, and someone has a cell phone, uh, the next thing I know that this, uh, person will be able to hear slander on his phone, he'll probably start uh, acting erratic, uh, maybe a few taunts, all because this uh, other person thinks he's God and is able to uh, track onto this person's cell phone and spread slander. It's a hell of a technology, this remote uh, neural monitoring, and um, it, it, it has a capability of um, reading a person's thoughts, uh, tracking on to uh, cell phones, headsets, uh, televisions, any uh, electronic device uh, as far as I know this individual is able to track on to and uh, I wouldn't mind if he's just gonna watch me or something but the tracking on and the harassment um, it, it's a little much you know um, 
I'm a disabled veteran and uh, you know I, I thought I live in America not a society that uh, will attack its own citizens you know if I've committed some crime let me know uh, I'm not a felon and uh, what they're doing here uh, this experiments I guess it's called it's wrong and uh, I'm really against uh, what they're doing with this uh, remote neural monitoring. Uh, I filed f several charges with the police, FBI, FCC, just about any agency I can think of. I've, I've filed charges and it, it hasn't helped. I've been to attorneys. Uh, it, I, I just can't understand the society we live in with no one investigating this unless they have something to do with it and are told not to. Uh, this is a situation with me is that uh, I'm a disabled veteran and I am harassed on a daily basis 24-7 uh, with this uh, individual uh, that is able to track onto people's cell phones and intercoms and headsets and harass me as if he's God telling these people what to do.